Star Wars 7x7 episode 1106. Today I finish up my look at Forces of Destiny with the final two episodes that have been released in this mini episode, mini webisode series The Stranger and Bounty of Trouble. Punch it, Chewie. Hey, Rebel Rouser. Welcome to Star Wars 7x7. I'm your host, Alan Voivod. And we are wrapping up with a couple of episodes that both take place on the same planet, the planet Gorel, which has been spotted by eagle-eyed Star Wars fans as being the same planet that we see in Star Wars Rebels Season 2, where the ghost crew runs for safety when Lothal gets a little too hot for them. Now... It also turns out that Star Wars Rebels is a factor in one of these episodes, Bounty of Trouble, but we're going to get to that momentarily. Right now, we're going to talk about the first one that came out, which is The Stranger, which features Felicity Jones reprising her role as Jin Erso, and in it, there's a little girl, or a a little human sounds like it's a girl's voice who has a loth cat who gets it taken away from some from by some very cruel stormtroopers and Jin smacks the stormtroopers around and is able to get the cat back to its rightful owner. Now fun generally speaking, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, again, these episodes are definitely targeted toward young girls because of the whole mission of Forces of Destiny, highlighting the heroines of Star Wars. So, yeah, I'm not the target audience, all right? Let's just make that clear. Fun? Fine. I've got a lot of story problems with this one just in general, particularly because if you recall from a few days ago in the podcast, I talked about how I was surprised in some cases that Fans on Wikipedia were able to identify exactly where episodes of Forces of Destiny were taking place. Like the one with Ahsoka and Padme and that it took place in between two specific episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars. And there's no evidence cited for it. But in this case, in The Stranger's case, somebody apparently asked Matt Martin of the Lucasfilm Story Group where in the timeline of Jyn Erso's life this episode takes place and he says he imagines it happens toward the end of the novel Rebel Rising and by that point she is so jaded about stormtroopers that I actually find it hard to believe that she interfered with the stormtroopers so just knowing that additional bit of information it makes it a little difficult for me to get over the suspension of disbelief but Again, you know, this is not <laughs> this is not for me, right? This is not for me as a target audience. So, I probably don't need to nitpick it as <laughs> nitpick it as much. So, yeah, anyway. Ah, uh, still has still has a little fun and always nice to see a loth cat and hear the purring cuz I think they're wicked cute. Anyway, that is the deal with the stranger. The other episode that takes place on Grill is Bounty of Trouble and you know, I'm trying to do the math on the timelines of these, so it's definitely something that, if Matt Martin is right, which, you know, there's no reason, no reason to think he's not right, then this Stranger episode takes place within six, seven months-ish or so of Rogue One happening, whereas the Bounty of Trouble one happens more than three years before Rogue One happens, so... That one takes place, according to Wikipedia, sometime during Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels, but but Princess Leia appeared as a character in Star Wars Rebels in Episode 12 of the season, so I think we can narrow it down a little bit more because Leia does meet Sabine in that episode, and so you know there was no reason for Sabine to introduce herself to Princess Leia in the Bounty of Trouble little mini episode here unless they hadn't met before so I'm saying it's happening during the first half of the second season of Rebels. Anyway, here's the deal with that one. Princess Leia is on Grell for one reason or another. We don't know why. She's walking with a couple of stormtroopers and Sabine sends a little thermal detonator thing around which because of the fact that we're targeting young girls in this, it is not an actual explosive killing device. It is a paint explosive and in the fray she manages to lasso princess leia and pull her away from the stormtroopers and get her behind a blast door so it looks like bounty hunters have captured princess leia and the stormtroopers need to go rescue her and she's going trooper help you know because she has to maintain her cover so sabine introduces herself and leia says i don't have 
the tape on me because I guess they're doing a data tape exchange. She's got it hidden, so they go running off to find the data tape, which, according to Leia, has a list of Imperial base locations. Pretty cool, but it turns out another bounty hunter shows up. It's IG-88. IG-88 drops into this thing, which is pretty awesome. And so now they're on the run from IG-88, but the stormtroopers are cutting through the blast doors, and they manage to make it. And Princess Leia says, what are you waiting for? Shoot the, shoot the bounty hunter. And IG-88 walks into a trap, basically. But the funny thing is, is that the stormtroopers, there are four of them that run through this hole they've cut in the blast door. And they're all shooting at IG-88. I think the show shows at least a dozen shots flying, and only one of them hits IG-88. So stormtroopers are shooting just as badly as their reputation suggests. Anyway... Leia and Sabine escape out that hole in the blast door during the fracas, and that's when Leia turns the data tape over to Sabine and then says, I gotta get back before they suspect anything, and Sabine says, hey, you know, you keep fighting from the inside, we'll keep fighting from the outside, and Leia says, you know, hope we'll get to fight together someday, which is really awesome, and... I haven't checked Sabine's age, but I gotta think that they're pretty close in age, all things considered, so... Uh, that one was a really good action-packed one, and I like that one a lot, definitely. So there you have it. That is the very quick and simple summary of The Stranger and Bounty of Trouble. Overall, we've got eight episodes of Forces of Destiny that have debuted, and we're getting more according to Wikipedia in October, I believe it is. So I think they're off to a great start, and I really enjoyed it, and I'd love to hear how you liked them as well. So please do share your thoughts at the comments at the blog post for this show's episode at SW7X7.com, or heck, as part of this Facebook Live post. Share them in the comments on this Facebook Live post. I am going to do a Rogue One trivia question for you after the break, and you'll have to stay tuned for that. Hang on. Welcome back. So last time I asked you whether Director Krennic gave the order to shoot Lyra before or after she shot him, and the answer is before. He gave the order before she even shot him. Today's question for you, what's the weather like when Saw Gerrera picks up Jin on Lamu? Uh, 